Over 82 million households watched Bridgerton in its first month, making it Netflix's most watched original series. Oh, I quite like that. Yes, that's very nice. Those are crazy numbers. But what made this period drama stand head and shoulders above shows like The Witcher and Stranger Things? You know what's the secret to a great book? It's when every chapter leaves you gripped and you just can't wait to read the next page. Well, Bridgerton learned from the novels it's based on, as each episode left you on tenterhooks, wondering what was going to happen next. You must make haste! You question whether bedtime is really essential, or if you could squeeze in one more episode. And before you know it, you've binged all eight episodes and the sun has come up. Yeah... We've all been there and suffered for it the next day. While any good screenwriter tells you this is the right way to create every episode, Bridgerton actually had incredible levels of intrigue and drama to make it effective and successful. You just had to know what was about to happen and you'd gleefully squeal as the credits rolled. The show was intoxicating, refusing to allow you to live your life before you knew absolutely everything. Well, let's be honest here. Despite all the hooks and suspenseful moments, Bridgerton was made even better because of one thing the cast. When you talk about chemistry, it was like a science lab right here where fireworks exploded in every scene. From a Joa Ando to Phoebe Dynavor, the cast was dripping with more talent than entire networks have at their disposal. We're talking about you, CW. And the good news is, the series has been renewed not just for a second season, but also a third and fourth, which means we'll get to see even more of this outstanding cast doing their thing in the future. Undoubtedly though, the breakout star of the show was Roger Jean Page, who played Simon Bass it. While he won't be returning for season two, the actor turned himself into a household name after his sensational performance here. He's already being suggested as the next James Bond, and he's just been confirmed to star in the Saint reboot as well as the upcoming Dungeons and Dragons movie. Turns out that Bridgerton was just the start for him, and the world is well and truly his oyster. Of course, none of this would matter if the sauce wasn't hot enough. In this case, the sauce is the story, and boy, oh boy, was it spicy! Now, most periods dramas tend to be quite prim and proper, raising their noses at anything deemed inappropriate. After all, this was supposed to be the most civilized era in human history, or so we're told. But Bridgerton decided that it's time to turn this outdated concept on its head, injecting a little salaciousness and raw honesty into the mix. So the top button was loosened, and we're treated to all the melodrama of Downton Abbey laced with all the sex and scandal of Gossip Girl. It's a combination that no one thought would ever be possible, or even work, but it creates one heck of a unique show that's hard to take your eyes off of. While undoubtedly sex sells, Bridgerton's intimate moments were all about empowerment for the characters. It didn't turn up its nose at these physical interactions, but embraced them as a part of human sexuality. And isn't this the most authentic thing you can do? Oh, I don't know. I go rude every single time. So maybe other period pieces will take note of Bridgerton's approach and not be afraid of tackling the supposedly taboo subjects. In a world where everything is a comic book show or based on a popular franchise, Bridgerton felt like a breath of fresh air. Sure, it's based on a best-selling romance series, but it's not exactly world-renowned like Star Wars or Marvel, nor is it meant to set up some long-winded shared universe. You can watch it without feeling like you need to know the whole history and every detail behind it. Plus, it helped immensely that there was a visionary figure like Shonda Rhimes involved as an executive producer here. Shonda knows what it takes to turn original IP into smash hits, having found success with the likes of Grey's Anatomy and Scandal, and she sprinkled her magic dust all over Bridgerton as well. More importantly, it goes to show that the audience will turn up if the series is good, and not just because it's based on something popular or well-known. It was the number one show in 76 countries. To die? Oh God. Oh, oh blimey. <laughs> Ultimately, this should give hope to writers and creators who want to see their original ideas come to life. So get writing those screenplays and pitching your ideas, because you might have the next hit show on your hands. Make no mistake that the show's release date also played a huge part in its success. Arriving on Christmas Day, it had little to no competition for that week. With most cinema releases delayed and many shows on production breaks, the people who'd taken holidays over the festive season had nothing to entertain them at home. After a while, there's only so many board games you can play with your family. Then hello, a juicy and easily digestible series drops on Netflix and your notifications light up. It isn't hard to see why the show is the perfect embodiment of the right place and right time here. If anything, Bridgerton proved how important the festive season could be for streaming releases in the future. Considering that there isn't much happening during that period, it's an untapped market. A show or movie could easily dominate the ratings and captivate households looking for something to watch. In this case, over 82 million homes were entertained. 
And I must say I'm impressed. In the mood for some more Bridgerton goodness? Then check out our hilarious bloopers and behind the scenes video that'll have you in stitches. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and stay awesome.